First, I'm going to show you what you need besides the stop switch itself. The switch I got requires female quick disconnect connectors. I got the wrong ones because they come sized for the wire gauge. I got gauge 10 to 12, and I needed them for 14 gauge. Blue ones, apparently. Next, if you are going to use an electrical box, which I'd recommend, you will need switch plate screws. These screws normally come with the switch plate, like this phone cord plate, but not with the kit I got. Luckily I had spares. You'll also need grounding wire, a wire nut, the electrical box, a strain relief, and the supply cord. I found it way cheaper and easier to buy an extension cord and attach the switch near one end. That way, you don't need to attach a power plug at the wall end. The router just plugs into the other end, meaning it can be used away from the router table as well. Cut the extension cord leaving enough extra to use inside the electrical box. Strip the wires to the length appropriate for the connector. Insert the wire in the connector and crimp it. And test that your wiring is correct. Finally, attach the box to the router table where it will not be in the way, yet convenient to turn off easily. And enjoy!